Hey everybody, I thought I would make a quick video here today. Now, uh, I was asked yesterday if the mound builders held Orion important, just like other ancient cultures did around the world, and I thought that was a very excellent question. And I found this website here. This is called American Indian Art of the Ancient Midwest and South, and I just wanted to read a little bit from uh, this website, and I will leave the link below. It says, different people around the world have perceived that beneath the seeming chaos of the visible world, with its infinite variety of plants, animals, geological features, and changing weather systems, there is in fact an underlying order, a meaningful cosmic system. And it says this has been represented in a number of different ways. It says the people who lived in the mound builder societies perceived the world in terms of three parts, sometimes referred to as a tripartite cosmos. In this system of thought, there was an underworld and an upper world respectively beneath and above the surface or plane of the earth on which we exist. This is borne out by the imagery found on art objects in a variety of striking ways. And I just want to talk about a couple of these artifacts here. And number one is this one. And by the way, other authors have talked about how Orion is important in Native American cultures. Uh, Gary David, for one, and Wayne Herschel have talked about how uh, Orion was tracked by Native cultures. And I'll try to leave a few links for that below. But I believe a lot of the uh, symbolism we have from the mound builders comes from the Mayans. This was found at Cox Mound Site in Tennessee. And in the middle here, you have a representation of what they say is the sun, but the creative force of the sun. And they put logs in the middle here. And the logs, when they burn them, the smoke represents the fire of creation, just like the Mayan uh, three hearthstone turtle creation myth, where the fire coming off uh, represents the Orion Nebula. And this is kind of the same symbolism here. And once again, I'm going to leave the link for this below if you want to read on about this. But I thought that had a uh, connection with the Mayans for sure. But Orion, this is a very important artifact that was found at uh, Moundsville in Alabama. And what we have here in the middle is a hand. And if you watch my video on Cahokia, you saw uh, some artifacts that were hands or had hands on them that uh, just popped up. And this is where this hand symbolism comes from. I just want to jump over to this rep this website, it says, Orion is linked with creation in the mythology and cosmology of the Northern Plains, where the Orion's belt star form the wrist of the hand constellation or the hand star. The crows and other groups from the Northern Plains tell two variants of the story describing the origin of this constellation. In both versions, divine twin boys are born as their mother is killed by an evil old woman named Red Fox Woman. The twins bring their mother back to life. In one of the variants, one of the twins cuts off the hand of their nemesis, which then becomes the hand star. In the other version, the twins cut up parts of the red fox woman herself, including her hand, which then becomes the hand star or the hand constellation of Orion. And it goes on to say here, these North American stories of creation and recreation have their correlate in Mesoamerican with the Popol Vuh in which it is the father that the twin boys pack back together. So these stories are very similar um, as far as uh, Orion goes and the twins and just the story of how the constellations came to be. But I want to jump back here and this hand here, you notice it has an eye in the middle of the hand. And if the wrist represents the three belt stars of Orion, then the hand, the palm, around here would represent the Orion Nebula. And I just thought, just briefly, of the Book of Enoch, where it talks about Enoch traveling beyond the great eye of Orion. I just thought I'd bring that up, just for people who want to uh, think about that for a bit. But anyway, this hand symbolism, it says this. The stone palette from Moundsville, seat of political and religious power of the 14th and 15th century AD, Alabama, represents an arresting image of an open hand with an eye in the middle surrounded by two rattlesnakes knotted together, 
their tongues licking the edge of the notched stone. The ovoid shape of the knotted serpents is called an oji. In Mississippian symbolism, the oji is used to represent openings or places of transition from one cosmic level to the next. Scholars have proposed that the mysterious open hand with the eye on the palm represents the constellation that we call Orion today. According to the Choctaw mythology, this constellation was where the souls of ancestors were received to be taken back to their celestial destination in the Milky Way. So Orion, yes, it was revered. It was a place of creation, birth, death, rebirth, uh, just as in the Mayan myth, Egyptian myth, many other myths. Um, I just think that this is all very interesting. It connects the mound builders to some very important stories from other cultures around the world. Hope you thought this was interesting. You have a nice